Hey, I'm Fish. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining. Like, subscribe, comment, rate, all up to you. Now, I'm getting used to the Pocket 3. I'm not going to say I'm a pro at it. I'm not going to pass myself along as a pro knowing it all. It's a nice camera. How did I look up lit up right now? On to the uh, right side, which should be your left side of the screen, showing you. And now I'm towards the right side of the screen, on my left, showing you. Now, I turn my camera off, and I turned it back on. And I now have set up face tracking when you swipe down, and on the right-hand side, you see the uh, orange squares, whatever color they are. And smart uh, control, smart track, disables every time you shut off, go back on. So I'm happy I, I saw that feature a couple of days ago, and now I set it up. So I'm there. But I can move my gimbal, my 5D stick, and I could be to the side. I don't have to do any pressings or anything. And if I move my camera, and switch it around, it stays where it needs to stay. So there's no need of pressing the 5D, it's just a matter of moving it. The one thing we all do not like is when you use the DJI Mic 2, the prompt is on a screen and it stays on there for a long time. And it's like the display it comes on real quick and goes off. Well, the Mic 2 display just stays there. You can get rid of it quicker simply touch it. I am on continuous focus. What I want to do is try, you know, single focus. Now, how's that? I hear some sirens. It may get a room shot. And it's coming real slow. How'd you like that uh, action shot? And that was on single focus mode. Now I'm back to continuous focus mode. And yeah, I just, you know, like the action for. You gotta just ignore those prompts. Don't touch them, leave them alone. Because, you know, you hit it and then your auto track just gets messed up. kind of difficult to use auto tracking on forward and set it up for yourself. But you know, how do I sound when my back and my hand blocks the mic? Well, let's get on out of here, go down to the boat. Two things I don't like, there's no LED on the front, which is good. Everybody loves that. The other one, if you're in playback mode and you switch the screen off, it don't shut off. Now, this is a nice shot. I like it. You got the lights on. You got dawn coming into daytime, sunrise, not the golden hour. And there's no need to even adjust the EV value, even on the fly, to lower it down all the way down to the maximum 3.0, as you can see. And then I'm raising it back up, and hopefully I'm getting it to the right the setting I want. If I adjusted my EV value, and I was on negative zero point something, and I set my camera up to negative 1.0, what am I really on? if I stopped at a different setting. So let's give that a shot again. So what I'm gonna do is swipe, go all the way down to the bottom, as far as I can go, stop. Start the video, swipe to the right, and I'm back to negative 1.0.
Very interesting that I learned that it will reset to your default of what you set and not what you actually touched on the camera. Did you know that the Sony ZV-1F, you can adjust your EV value, but did you know on the Sony ZV-1 Mark II, you cannot adjust your EV value at all? Meaning that in the settings, they lock you out. And you're filming and you're doing what you want to do here in the ZV-1 Mark II, you can't, it's impossible. And that's what I don't like about my Sony. No matter how hard I try, the autofocus continuous, I mean, it just blurs out whatever's in front of you between you. So if your hand's in front over here, it focuses on the hand and you are the focus and you're only six inches or whatever from the camera. Nobody talks about that. Oh yeah, so the trees are uh, in blossom. We got some lights in the distance. And we got some noise where I want to be at. So I apologize for the inconvenience that the gentleman's doing his job in the wee hours. Oh, he knew fish was coming, man. Did he shut the lights off on me? No, they're still on. He knew the fish was coming. <laughs> yeah. So he stopped. I'm not going to go back. I already got my footage on it for the other vlog. So yeah, we're going to take a long way home and wrap this vlog up. Did ever go to uh, this place? Calamari? Yeah, man. Brand new building. They got a clothing store in it. Not sure who's in this one. And the main entrance. Why they go down in steps into a main floor where they could have went straight in? Or maybe a step up. So a lot of drainage. How I see it. And here's another place. Yeah, and then more places to rent, and they're slowly getting to business. This house, probably from the 1800s, still standing. And then you have the church. They rehabilitated it. And man, they did a great job. It took a long time, and they finally got it done. I gotta remember to go up on the joystick and down on the joystick. This used to be in business for so long. No more. Out! Now we're gonna turn anyway. Walk towards the sun. Now, I did adjust my settings to what I think I like to see in my camera. Then uh, put an ND filter on. I always like the EV value down on these action cameras for the reasons of, they're always overexposed. GoPros, negative five. Action four, negative point three, about. And a pocket, oh man, I had to go to negative 1.0. All right, so now the auto track caught my face within five seconds, not bad. You got a nice shot. I went the wrong way, fish. I want to go this way. Put you in the corner. Dynamic range. Yeah, deli on the corner, got lights on the window. Need to clean those windows, make it look presentable. My sidewalk disappeared. I came off this walk. What do you do? <laughs> you got to cross the street eventually. And which side are you going to walk on? I'm gonna go that side. So I'm gonna use you as my rear view mirror. Point you over there. Always take a look all around. Get on out of here. 
I gotta cross over. Why? I like looking at nice things like the tree. Not one, not two, but three. And they're small and they bloomed. It looks like the city did this work, the sidewalk, and they did the whole block. And they did a nice job. Yes, indeed, did a good job. They could have at least did the curb, do it all correctly, but they didn't. So yeah, we're gonna get to the park and we're almost home. Oh man, I hit the record button, turns the camera on. And I was busy yapping. And yeah, it's a manual on. It doesn't record automatically. Maybe they'll make a long press one day on the Pocket 3. Long press don't work. <laughs> That'd be something amazing that they can do. DJI, you'll figure that part out yourself. I can't give you any more suggestions because she just told me that. Uh, yeah, maybe it's in the market that we may be interested or not. Well, everybody's interested in a, uh, a quick start, and you haven't put it in the Pocket 3. Well, I got enough footage for a vlog, more than enough, and to do on a nice bad day, and share it on those days, and do a lot of good editing, trying to figure out what titles, subtitles, overlay stickies if needed, transitions if not. Oh yeah. We're gonna use Wondershare Filmora 13, do the editing, and hope it don't crash my machine again like it did before. Oh, it couldn't be a Windows problem. It couldn't be a Wondershare problem. It's just basically a problem. And maybe one day I'll switch on over and go that route. But on that note, I'm Fish. I had a good walk, a good talk, a good share, a good vlog. I hope you all have a good day because it's going to be one of those good weeks. And that's why I made this video to save it up and post it on out. And on that note, have a great April.